dirty streets and polluted waterways. That's the legacy of single-use plastics. However, from today, the government is forcing most business owners to go green or face tough fines. At the more than 300-year-old Blenheim Palace in Woodstock, they're replacing half a million single-use coffee cups with 17,000 that can be washed and returned, saving 35 tonnes of CO2. David Green is head of innovation. We serve over 400,000 hot drinks at Blenheim and many of those cups, even though they're compostable, can only be composted up to about 5% with food waste. So actually eradicating single-use cups really does fit into our overall strategy of becoming carbon neutral by 2027. The company behind Blenheim's high-tech coffee cup revolution is Reuniverse, which offers a range of reusable food and drink containers. Founder Tony McGurk explains how it works. This cup has some really neat technology in it. So it has a QR code on the side to give it an identity to you as a consumer. And it has underneath an RFID chip enabled in the cup itself so that we know where the cup is and what it's doing when it gets returned. You'll go into a coffee shop, you'll buy your coffee as you normally would do, and you'll pay a deposit on that cup. So rather than, here's a paper cup, throw it away, you now have a cup that is reusable and rewashable and you've invested £2 in it, for instance. So if you want your £2 back, you'll make sure it comes back and gets washed and reused. Do you need a receipt? But revolutions are expensive. Just a few minutes walk away from Blenheim Palace is Smart's fish and chip shop. Owner Ricardo Camara says meeting the new regulations is costing him hundreds. Plastic bags, uh, cups, lids, boxes, bin liners, uh, other bits and bobs, I'm going to lose easily £600 worth of items. This is just the latest challenge Ricardo has faced to his livelihood. During Covid, he was forced to close down his restaurant. Now, after a brief time of being back on his feet, once again, he's worried for the future. I lost big, big time money around the COVID. Then I decided to take this one over. I take another risk. Now this thing comes along again. Salsa vinegar on the chips? Yes, please. Ricardo believes he has around six months to see if he can stay profitable. And in the meantime, his increased overheads will have to be passed on to his customers. I kind of take from my own pocket. You know? So whatever I bring it in, I have to increase in the price. The government says 95% of the public supports the single-use plastic ban, but at a time when many are struggling with the cost of living, its impact could help the environment but damage the high street. Ray Addison, GB News, Woodstock.